On the barbecue tonight, we have uh, some red peppers. The, uh, the meat, though. You better get that fire out, otherwise we're going to have burnt offerings. Right, like they used to be able to. A blast from the past, one vest and matches. Yeah, don't, don't. It's one hell of a piece of meat. You have the best one. No, no, you've got to choose the best thing that matches the lemon too. What matches what Ollie just said. Yes, what do you say? It's way off. It's like 15 degrees in there. Let's get both best. Now I need some courgettes, uh, homegrown courgettes these are. Just with a little olive oil and salt. Meat's coming on nicely now. We just keep checking the temperature every now and again. I go. The internal temperature now is 35 more or less. We're getting there. And the courgettes looking lovely. My We will do. Mm -hmm. yeah, the barbecue wouldn't be complete without sweet corn. Mm -hmm. Another nice piece of meat. Supposed to go very well on a barbecue. But uh, it would take quite so long. It's actually pork. All two actually. Oh, oh, it's pork and meat, medium rare. Well, most we need to have. Quite well done. And that piece of meat over. Seems that one inside. Well, let's look at the temperature now. Hey, Will. Big corn, these are. Some locally made uh, sausages here. It really is very, very hot though, so uh, we'll just uh, keep our eye on these. Well, it's that time of the evening and uh, I'm changing my usual drink for a, a red. This is a Spanish, Rioja. It's a Faustino, Faustino 5, and is uh, always a good drink. So, cheers. Starting to take shape now. This is some Iberico pork. Bits of pork rib. Some bits of pork rib. Yeah. We're real carnivores this evening, I think. And there's the halloumi that's all ready now. All looking good. Yes, and the red peppers, perfect. Okay. Sweet corn shed. And the sweet corn of Williams getting in. We've got some tomatoes down there. Bread. Olives of course. Sweet corn! Pork all nicely sliced up. Well, that was delicious. And there's the steak.